Come on, Boo. You got a big day tomorrow. Come on. We got to get a good night's sleep. Look at this mess of a dog. The Maxer is going to the groomer in the morning for his spring haircut. Come on. Let's go outside, buddy. Let's do it. Here we go. Pollux, are you going to the groomer for a bath tomorrow, bud? Do you need a good night's sleep too? One for Pollux, one for Moo. Really? You had to eat your treat on my bed? Good night, Mooey. Good night, Pollux. This is going nowhere. This video is going south quick. Good night, guys. We'll see you in the morning. Morning stretches. Everybody's stretching. You ready to go out? Okay. Good morning, Moo Moo. It was chilly out there, huh? You're first, Chewy. Yeah, good morning. <laughs> what? <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> oh, boy. Good morning, Boo. And of course, Maxie's on his couch, doing the morning lookout. Right, Moo? Morning watch time for you. Look at your fuzzy, fuzzy little face. Maxer had his winter haircut last time, and it's been six or seven weeks, and he has just grown into a fuzzy little mess. I call him my little white teddy bear. Y'all said he looks like a little white lamb. He's just gotten out of control. Hadn't you, Moo? But you're happy about it, though, huh? That little beard. We got sticky stuff in the beard. <laughs> Everything is just overgrown. And look at the bottom of his paws. We gotta get this taken care of, because spring is coming, right, Moo? And then there's Paul Liggs. Why is everybody yawning this morning? Are you so sleepy? You're so sleepy. Yeah. Pollux goes to the groomer to get a bath because he is starting his winter coat shedding. I think he's just getting going, but it is happening. Let's see. Oh, look. See? See it accumulate right there. Beep, beep, beep. One little touch. And this is everywhere. <laughs> yeah, look what came off, Pollux, when Mom touched you. You decided to move in here with me while I'm working. How many times are you gonna yawn this morning? Buddy, can you just not get comfortable? You just keep moving everywhere this morning. You got the yawns too. He's curled up in a ball. When Pollux gets in a ball and he'll stick his nose in his tail, that means it is cold outside. I'm still in my pajamas, guys, sorry. <laughs> but while they're gone today, I'm going to de-hair and clean my house. So there's certain things that I always do. I wash their beds, their blankets. This blanket that's on the couch where Maxie is, is covered in dog hair because Pollux loves to get up there and cuddle with Maxie. So I'm gonna take that off, I'm gonna clean that, I'm gonna clean my floors. And just looking down right now, my floor is covered in hair. Yes, we have a robot vacuum. It ran yesterday, in fact, but because of this rug that is in my office, around the edges of the rug, it tends to get little, like, balled up strings of hair. It drives me crazy, but I'm gonna pick all that up. I'm gonna get a couple hours in and do some house cleaning while the boys are gone. Is this all your hair, boo? That's yours, but we're gonna get it taken care of at the groomer. You wanna smell it? It's your hair. I just picked it up off the floor. And here is Pollux's toy box. If I put any other toy in the toy box with Earl and Henrietta, Pollux gets the toys out 
and drags them somewhere else in the house. Just like that, you see the octopus. Well, when I came home from work Thursday, am I tattling on you? It's a funny story, Pollux. I came home from work Thursday, Earl and Henrietta were out of the toy box, and Pollux was laying in his bed, and Earl and Henrietta were in the bed with him. It's like he needed comfort because mom was gone for a little while, and he got his two buddies, and he pulled them in the bed with him. It just made me laugh, it was so sweet. Taxi saw me pointing at the bed, thought he was missing out on something, and jumped up to come in here and see what was going on. What was mom talking about? Now you're gonna come in here too? Oh gosh. <laughs> They're such nosy ninnies. They saw me talking about the bed, thought they were missing something. Oh. Okay, y'all just saw it firsthand. Pollock shook the octopus and look at all the stuffing that came out. Instant mess. So when the boys are gone today, this is what I'm gonna do. Clean up the mess. But Maxie, the mess only stays cleaned up for about two minutes, right guys? Cause y'all so messy. Pollock was at the door and wanted out and uh, I guess we got pre-grooming running that needed to happen. <laughs> He's got some energy that he needed to get out. Why are you wagging your tail at me, Pollux? <laughs> Ooh, I did pull my hair back and get it out of my face. I'm multitasking today, right, bud? We're multitasking. So Maxie is a whittle, whittle bit of a mess, right, buddy? Y'all can see he's got hair hanging in his eyes. His beard is just a messer. We did. Y'all go to the vet last week for his checkup and got all the chicken pulled out of his ears. Look at those ears. So clean. So the groomer doesn't have to do that today. Right, bud? But we got long hair everywhere. Look at this feet, which means mud. So the dilemma is this. Every year in March, we have... <laughs> We have a little warm spell here. And so I think, okay, when he goes to the groomer, we're gonna get his spring haircut. And then the grooming appointment gets here and it turns off freezing cold on the day of the appointment, which is exactly what has happened today. It was 70 degrees all weekend. And now today it is 40 degrees and gloomy. Because spring is right around the corner, I know it is, and if I wait until his next appointment, which could be six or seven weeks away, it is going to be really hot here then. In Kentucky, the seasons like spring and fall are so short, we can have drastic weather changes, and I don't want him to be long and messy like this when it gets hot. <laughs> but I don't want to cut him too short today, and he gets cold, right, Moo? We don't want a Mooey to be cold. I think what we're gonna do is go on and get Mooey's spring haircut. And when it's chilly, we'll just put a t-shirt on him. Is that okay with you, bud? But at least if it turns out warm, we can take the t-shirt off and he has the correct hairdo. <laughs> this boy has the sillies this morning. <laughs> this is what he does at night. When I tell him it's time to go to bed, he rolls over on his back. And he asks for belly rubs before bedtime. Mm -hmm. There's a good look at that little mouth. This blanket is covering up the big hole in the couch that Maxie made. This sweet little face dug a hole in the couch. <laughs> but when our new couches get here, we're getting rid of this couch. It should just be a few more weeks and this is out of here. Bud, oh me, oh me. Can I have this stuff in? I'm just taking this stuff in is all. I've already picked it up once this morning, right? This is the second go. And look at the stuff that I've already picked up. So we're going to leave for the groomer in about 30 minutes. And one thing I always do <laughs> when it's time to head to the groomer is give the boys rescue remedy. If you have dogs or cats that get anxious or worked up, if you put them in the car, if you go to the groomer, if it's storming or thunderstorming or anything, it doesn't matter what the situation is, you need to have Rescue Remedy. It is a natural stress relief for pets. Y'all, this is not a sponsored product, I promise. This is something 
that I discovered one day and bought some for the boys and I have gone through countless bottles of this. It just keeps them calm. It relieves their anxiety. So for example, we had a big thunderstorm the other day. As soon as the storm started to hit, they were already worked up. They knew the storm was coming before I knew the storm was coming, but I got the dogs in the kitchen. I gave them the rescue remedy and about 20-ish minutes later, even though it was still storming, it was thundering, it was raining, their panting stopped, they slowed down, Maxie came out of the utility room, Pollux was still on the couch with me, but definitely much calmer. He was laying down. And so this is a product that I swear by anytime there is something going on that makes the boys worked up. I always put the rescue remedy on a piece of bread. That way it'll soak in and the dogs will eat it easily. Drop it on the bread like that, let it soak in, and feed it to the boys. All right, there's yours. Come here, Moose. Come here, you want a treat? No, nope, Pollux, you had yours. Uh, what? <laughs> this is Mooey. Okay, yay, boys. Y'all are so stinking cute. But here's a great picture, Maxie. You can see what a fuzzy little mess he is. My little lamb. So the dogs have their rescue remedy. Pollux is outside taking a potty one last time and I'm gonna put the car seat cover in my car. Again, this is a must for putting the dogs in my car because Pollux's toenails will tear up my seat. He will get hair all over my car and Pollux drools. When he gets in the car, he drools. And so my car seat cover is gonna completely protect my back seat. Yeah, I guess you can come out here. It's fine. We're not going anywhere just yet. <laughs> you just lay it out. Pop it open, put it over your headrest. This side has a strap and it goes over that headrest. And that's that. See, look, you can see muddy paws on here from last time we used it. Yeah, right, Moo, we're not leaving yet, buddy. Not just yet. So pop this, that one, this over that one. And there we are. Hey, Moo. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Gosh, he thinks he's gonna miss out on something. Mama is not gonna go without you, I promise. Are you guys ready to go to the groomer? Are you ready? Huh, I didn't know it was this exciting to go to the groomer. I didn't know. Oh, y'all play. Yeah, get out some of that nervous energy. Uh-oh, where'd he go, Moo? He took his rooster. Took off. Now you got your octopus and the rooster in your bed. Uh, okay, y'all, this is number three stuffing pickup. Y'all, uh-oh, uh, mm. uh here's a big piece right there. Pollux, <laughs> are you ready? Are you excited? Okay, the only way I can get Pollux in the car is to harness him up so he thinks we're going on a walk, but Bo, we gotta go this way. Come on, we're going this way. Go, go, let's get in the car. <laughs> he will not just come get in the car just because I have to trick him. All right, are we ready? Can we go, please? This is what's always so strange. I'm home and I pull in the garage and I get out of my car and there's no dogs barking and there's nobody waiting for me inside. No dogs here and no dogs here. Oh. But I'm gonna get about four hours of total silence being home alone. No dogs, no hair, no toenails, no toys, no playing, no needing to go out to pee. And so I'm gonna get some stuff done. I'm gonna take full advantage of my afternoon alone.
So the absolute next thing I have to do is get the dog hair off my couch. Yes, my new couches are coming. They should be here in a couple weeks. Yay for new couches. But for now, I'm still dealing with these navy blue couches that just literally soak up Pollux's dog hair. He was up here this morning with me while I was drinking my coffee. He snuggled with me last night and I'm getting out my Chom Chom Roller. If you all have not listened to me yet and bought a Chom Chom Roller, what the heck are you waiting on? I cannot even tell you how many times I use this thing every single day to get Pollux's hair off my couch. But I wanna show you how much I'm gonna pick up off my couch and the other little couch just right now, you are going to be amazed at how well this little thing works. So I just cleaned it out, it's totally empty. I just want to show you how clean the Chom Chom Roller got the couches. So much better, right? And now, let's look at what's inside the Chom Chom Roller, just from doing the two couches one time. Look at that. This is how much hair was on my couch, just from basically last night and this morning, because I did this yesterday. I just got the call. Their boys are ready. So I'm gonna go pick up my little sweeties and they're gonna be so fresh and smell so good and hopefully not losing so much air. Moo, look at you. <laughs> I think that pandana buddy is a little big for you. We'll have to fix that when we get home. Polly, how did it go? You got a bandana too this time? Oh, he's all fluffy. <laughs> Okay, let's get home and we'll get a really good look at them. So now that I'm home and the boys are inside, I wanna show you the inside of my car and all of the hair that's on my car seat protector. If this wouldn't have been in my car, all of this dog hair would have been embedded in my leather seats. And now my car seats are not messed up from having the dogs in the car. bandana for springtime oh Mooey! oh you smell so fresh and good come here come here y'all look at you see this see the little hair flip on his booty when Pollux gets a bath his booty hair always gets all fluffy I love it y'all want a treat oh oh that got their attention let's get you a treat because y'all were such good boys one for Pollux for the movie. Let's see if we can come in here and get an up close, way better look at these sweet boys. They're pretty worked up right now though. I don't know if they're gonna be still enough for me to look at them. She left the top of your head kind of long, Moo, but your beard is trimmed up. Yep, that's good. Yeah, it's trimmed up. Oh me. Oh, you just need a good scrub for mom. Let's see your belly. Oh, your belly, no more crazy fur, yay! And the bottoms of his paws are cleaned up. How's your fresh blanket, Mooey? Your blanket's all fresh. Mom washed it for you, Moo. And then there's Pollux. Oh, look how fluffy he is. He, he does have a little bit of curl in his hair, which is so, so sweet. Oh my God, 
Do you see all that hair coming off? Wow, look at that tail. Look at you, bud. You're so handsome. So, so handsome. And you got a blue bandana too for getting a bath. Show us your booty. Look at his booty fluffs. And the beautiful, beautiful tail. Hey, little fluffy fluffs. Put your tail up. Why are you blocking me? Huh? Doot, doot. Why are you blocking me? What's he doing, Moo? <laughs> this is why we can never have a good thumbnail picture for a video. These two won't cooperate. I give up. I give up. So that's it. That's it for the grooming. I give up. They're too worked up. They're too anxious. Doesn't matter what I do. They are not going to get in the video and show off their haircuts. But you all get the gist, right? They're fresh. They're super cute. I know I have to leave now, but I know they're going to lay down in their fresh little beds and they are going to take Judy's. Big, long, happy, snoozy, fresh little boy, Judy's. So we'll see you later.